Hello, hello. <laughs> Super Dave back here again. Thought I'd do a little book review. Uh, I've started a few businesses, but I don't really want to talk about that. I, I just thought that this next business adventure I want to try to do, I want to be a little more successful. Uh, so I started reading these books and watching the videos. Here, let me grab them. You know, I, I first I started watching the, the Jim Rohn videos, you know, this one for this book and this guy here, but you know, he does this book here, which is pretty good. I like that really well. Uh, after watching, you know, two or three hours, oh, a couple times of his, uh, um, all his uh, online there on YouTube, you know, he's a really good speaker. Been at it 30 years on the one I watched. And, you know, it's, it's about the action part of things on how to get yourself to start doing some of these things that, that they're talking about. And so I thought I would, you know, kind of talk about that a minute. And uh, one of his videos, you know, this is going on. I watched one, you know, it's back a week later. And the second one said, you know, he was at this company. He said, you know, the last time I was here, I told you guys to get the, the book, The Richest Man in Babylon. He goes, you know, you can sit down in 15, 20 minutes, read it. It's an easy read. And uh, I don't know why only 5% of you went out and did it, and why the other 95% of you are still sitting there in the in the audience and haven't done nothing. You same ones are here, and I'm back again. They're paying me again to be here. But what's your problem? Why haven't you even got this one simple little book? What's wrong with you? Well, that kind of spoke to me as like action, you know? It's like, well, I haven't done anything. You know, I'm sitting here listening, and I like what he says, but I'm not getting any action involved. And so I said, well, hell with that. I went to Amazon. Then I went and got this one here, which is excellent book. Seven Strategies to Wealth and Happiness. Goes into real thorough on the goal setting, which I really need to work on, you know, personal and business. And then I got this book, of course, now, uh, Kiyosaki, you know, it's a great book. Uh, I haven't started it, I'll be honest with you, uh, because I went to this book for the third one, Think and Grow Rich, built... Uh, by Napoleon Hill, you know, he wrote this back in 1930 or so, somewhere around there. Carnegie had him do it on a commission basis. He did another book, and I ordered it. It was the one before this one. It's supposed to have the real secret, according to Ford. Ford told him, well, don't give him all the secrets. But I always kind of wondered about, so this book here is extremely deep. And I've got to get a goal-setting plan going in a journal. That'll be my next... To, uh, video is to get going on the journal and who does the best journals and things but I did want to uh, get the other Nap Napoleon Hill book and read it first but basically I think the richest man in Babylon's really good and I think that that's a real easy read and then go to you know if you just want to get a couple to build your library you know get this get this book here you know uh, I did want to talk about something here uh, that if you, uh, on this triangle here, that here's the key, that all the videos and all the books, uh, how do you get that, you know, they talk about the burning desire, the, un, the unstoppable desire to succeed, and that'll get your action going. And so on the triangle, you've got D, you know, for a desire, right? And then over here you have, you know, you got your D here, you got your faith here. You got A up here. This is for act, you know, action. Action. And then, you know, down here you have faith or if you want to, you know, go along with it, call it belief. Okay, well, you know, that's all fine and tendy, but how do you how do you get to action? And one thing I and I watched a video after watching all the videos for several hours on YouTube, reading all the books, it's like, how do you get going? Now, I know it inspired me that Jim Rohn said, you know, I was here last time at the company. No one's bought the book. It's a simple book that, you know, the uh, richest man in Babylon. I thought, well, God, that's me. I haven't done nothing, you know, like a $6 book, you know. You can get the audio for free, but I think it's important to start building your library. You have to get the actual book, you know, so you can turn the pages and savings only 6 bucks. But anyway, so I thought, well, I need to do that. But I did see a video by uh, Vic... This inner hand man, okay, uh, Vic uh, Johnson. This is his little triangle. 
And I thought to myself, you know, damn it, that's the key. That guy is the key. That's what I'm hoping in the Napoleon Hill book, the first book, I forgot the name of it, but it's in the mail right now from Amazon. But here's the key. Like, how do you get that burning desire? And I think this Vic guy, he's got it. He explains it. It's real simple. You get the desire and you have a little faith or belief, you know, and then you make a little action, right? Well, what was the action? I just, you know, made a few clicks on the computer and bought the books. And then I read the first book, and then I read the second one, and the third one, and the Napoleon Hill one's a little deep, you know, and I'm going to get back into it, because you got to read it like probably five or six times to even begin to understand it. But here, what Vic was pointing out, which I thought was real good, is that all of these books, all these self-help books, a lot of them are just regurgitating in some fashion what Napoleon Hill brought out. But I wanted to point something out that this Vic Johnson, I think, really has the key. And, okay, so I did a little bit of action, right? I got a book and I read a book. So I'm just starting, right? Now I've got a good job and all that good stuff, you know, six-figure job. But I want to start a new business. I want to do a better job at it. But I... What the key, what Vic is saying here, you've got the desire and faith. I did an action. I'll say once you do an action, then that builds more desire. That's the key. Watch Vic's video. And so that gave me more desire to want to do this video because that's something I wanted to do under my goals. I wrote all my goals down, and I've still got to organize them. I'm going to do a journal. But the key to get the burning desire is just get started. Go buy the damn book. You know, get the, get the richest man in Babylon, then the seven strategies for uh, health and happiness from Jim Rohn. This is excellent breakdown on goals, and I'm going to follow that, and we'll get into that when I do it. So I'm just starting out. We can do this journey together, okay? But I just wanted to say that the desire, you'll get more desire and more faith. If you just start and do something, just do one little thing, and then that will give you more desire. And you just keep this thing going around and around, and you'll get a burning desire. You'll get better at it. But that's the damn key of get, getting motivated and doing it and getting the motivation is just get started. Do something. Do anything. Just get started. I did just want to point out just a couple of things that I did learn from all the books and all the videos. And... You know, I'm not a big reader. I don't have a library, except for those books you saw right there. I got some art books, you know, because I paint and draw portraits and things like that. You can go to ICanDrawPortraits.com if you want to check that out. But, uh, you know, I noticed that the, uh, they, all of them, all the millionaires, all these self-made guys, all of them on YouTube, they all have this big library. And they say if you want to study success, if you want to be successful, study success. If you want to be happy, study happiness. If you want to have money, study meet people and have money. They all had a library, so my goal is to start, you know, getting my library. So they all have a good library. Uh, they all talk about, you know, this triangle, you know, except for this part of how to build it that Vic pointed out. That's the damn key in my opinion because it's worked for me. You ought to try it. And then they all set goals, they all write their goals down, and then every single one of them, okay, all have, they all have, uh, uh, they have goals, they write them down, and they all have a journal, they all keep a journal. So I'm going to build a journal, that'll be the next video, we can do this, you know. And the, the fifth, fifth one, I noticed that they, uh, that they did, they all say, all the books, all of it, they all say you got to get rid of the negative people. Napoleon Hill even talks about a wife, possibly, if they're negative. You, you've got to get rid of the negative, which is crazy, huh? You got to get rid of the negative influences. You got to get rid of the negative people, the naysayers. You have to fill your mind with positive thought only. The, all the books, all of them say that. They all say the same thing. So just keep that in mind, but. Check out that Vic Johnson video. It's a little older one on YouTube. But the idea is just to do something. Even if it's just go buying a $6 book like I did. I had faith. I had desire. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of action. But now it's building. I can feel it happening. Just because of watching Vic's Johnson's and then just do some action. Then next you know you've bitten more and more and more desire. That's the key. Check it out. 
do it. And if you haven't bought the books yet, why haven't you? Start building your library. All right, talk to you later.